Um, I'm Sonia Brahmi. I work as the Director General of Institute and Museums in Syria since 2012. And also I was teaching at the Master Citadel for five years uh, during the conference. Um, during my work, um, as I think a lot of conservation architects had this problem, I saw the demolishing of a lot of historical buildings in the old city of Damascus. Um, um, in the seek of development, as the owners would say. First, we have the framework, 
Um, and um, this framework was, was tested how by um, a case study accomplished in the old city of Damascus in 2014 and 15. It was the, the peak of the Syrian war, of course, but like we tried to take like safety measures, and of course Damascus has 5% of damage, so it was approximately safe. So the framework was implemented in 2014 again and 15. So um, at the faculty, faculty of Architecture of Damascus University, and it was uh, evaluated by several semi-structural interviews conducted in 2019 and 2020. And then I did a questionnaire with the um, students who became now architects, who are now my friends working with me, um, about this experience on, of the workshop. A lot of them actually is doing their masters in conservation of historical buildings in different countries around the world. The world. So the short-term goal is to build a three-dimensional library to simulate uh, the, uh, the historical area of Damascus. We divided uh, the area to four areas, as you see. So we have uh, all city of Damascus inside the walls, and then the first extension, the, Mam the Mamluk part, which is the uh, Manchester Square and Nasser Street, and then the Halbuni, also Ottoman, Ottoman uh, architecture, and then the city campus, which has some monumental uh, Ottoman uh, buildings. The first step is the students will learn the visualization uh, program, which is SketchUp. It's very easy. We let the teachers who volunteer to do that to teach this program to the students. And I try to be like a participatory <laughs> approach even in that. So a collaboration between the students. We have students who have more abilities to work in SketchUp, so they teach each other too. And all was voluntary. You have in the photos teachers and you have students. And um, then what will happen is that uh, when it's safe, of course, like I work in the Citadel, we have like a, a rocket once, but we try to be as safe as possible. So we tell, tell the students to visit, we go with them, we visit the site, and then they will like go. And what will happen is the managers and the experts in the site, you can see the man in red, uh, Mr. Molaj, he, he was the uh, manager of Damascus Citadel. He explained to the students the aesthetics, the how important is the place. He uh, took the students around the Citadel, and for you notice, it was a military base, unfortunately. Uh, so it was closed, it was not accessible. Some of the students brought their uh, father and the mother and their family, so we have. We, we expected 40, uh, 100 came <laughs> with the, their parents and, uh, and their sisters because the, the citadel was not accessible because of this military base. Um, this is some photos of the visits, uh, the Damascus citadel. So, and then what, we, what they would do? The students should do a standard identification form which uh, they will choose a building that they were really mesmerized with and they will talk about it, history, their, the number, the cadastral, um, and their references, as you can see in the photo. This is the standard identification form that every student should do. And then, during uh, the work, they should do this 3D documentation. 3D, I don't want to say documentation, 3D visualization, because it's not about accuracy, it's not about authenticity, it's about their experiences in place, how they are measuring, how they are, and um, how we are introducing them to the historical building. This is the Ayyubid Hall of Damascus Citadel, and it's visualized completely by the students. And then we, we I designed a book for the students. Uh, we printed some, uh, some of them. We distributed between the students. Um, no, we have a Okay. <laughs> so you have on the on I don't know your left. You have the uh, the students and quotes from the students. They gave me the quotes, and then you have uh, description in English and in Arabic. And also, uh, whatever the student gathered of information with references. And uh, this is, for example, um, uh, the visualization of Damascus Citadel again. And I wanted to say that the social media tools was used during the war in a very negative way. So I wanted to use the 
social media tools in a positive way this time. And how is by distribution the video distribution of the videos, publishing of the videos on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, Twitter, like go and publish the video. We gave it to the students um, about two about two documentation. It's not accurate. So it's like it's a little bit safe. They will distribute it. It's more, more kind of just uh, raising awareness about the importance of this uh, place. So I can show you the video. I know I took a lot of my time. <laughs> Here it will work. Sorry. Sorry. I, I made it so fast. So uh, this is the visualization by the students to the Omayyad Mosque in the old city. There is no voice. Um, this is the Omayyad Mosque visualized by uh, the students. Three students from the third year worked on that. They worked first on SketchUp and then they developed it to 3D Max uh, rendering by themselves, voluntarily. This is the courtyard of the, uh, of the Omayyad Mosque and the uh, different rewalk of hallways. As I told you, it's not about authenticity, it's about their experience of in the place and creating attachment with the place. So they will have good memories. When we, when we create good memories in the place, you, uh, you, the, you know, just like uh, change the interpretation of what's happening there. They, you raise awareness about the place. So I took a lot of time. Another photos of the Omayyad Mosque. And this is uh, this is the uh, Damascus Citadel, Ayubid Hall, Kalawan Hall, and this is the exterior walls of the Citadel. All was distributed on Facebook. I have a link I think, in the paper. You can go and, and check all the videos there of the um, uh, the videos. This is the interior, and this is the, actually one of the students liked the Memlouk bath inside the citadel, and he voluntarily just did this visualization of these traces of the Memlouk bath inside the citadel. Oh, this is like um, Amber office, bathroom.
about 3D visualization of the farm document <laughs> and the, touch, the, the topic of obesity is an important topic in this, uh, in this case. Thank you. Any question? Actually, because the students had to do a presentation for the director general executive workers who were in the citadel, in the main atmosphere, or in, um, uh, or in Bakuma or wherever, and they had a lot of critiques from the uh, of course from the world, even for me, because it's not accurate, but it's about an experience in place and creating good memories 